Rocket Flyer up. So this is Next Machina on a CRT monitor. This is glorious. Now, this is only at 60 FPS, at 60 Hz. When I originally set out to make this video, the goal was to show it off running at 85 Hz at 85 FPS. This is an IBM E7M uh, CRT monitor, and it's capable of running at 85 Hz at 1024 by 768. I can also kick it up to even higher refresh rates, which I'll talk about in a future video at much lower resolutions. The problem is, Next Machina doesn't have support for a wide variety of resolutions. There's, well, there's, there's quite a few numbers of resolutions listed in the settings, but it's all 16 by 9 or 16 by 10. Numerous complaints on Steam about it either glitching out or not working at 21 by 9, and seemingly very minimal support for any at least lower resolution 4x3. I think there might be a couple 4x3 resolutions in there, but very few. And just getting it over to a secondary monitor and put it, putting it back full screen and stuff was already a nightmare in and of itself. And every time I relaunch the game, it just freaks out going full screen to window to full screen to window. And it does not like resolution changes or window size changes or anything like that. So I struggled quite a bit to actually make this happen. And what I ended up doing was the first one I was running it at what seemed like a relative, I, I believe it was a 16 by 10 resolution, which is a bit less offensive to squish to a 4 by 3 size, uh, which, uh, actually I can pull that up here, what was that resolution? That was about 1600 by 1024. Uh, so I've, I've never used that resolution before, but I believe it's a 16 by 9 resolution, or 16 by 10 resolution rather, and then I recorded a little bit more gameplay, I just decided since I couldn't make it do, you know, what I wanted to do, this kicked the monitor into 1280 by 1024 mode, which locks it to 60 hertz. I figured if I'm going to do that anyway, I re-ran it running the game at a full 3840 by 2160. Now, it's even more squished in this mode, which means things like the little circle in the bottom left corner and all circles are going to be very vertically squished into ovals, and you know, that's not how you're supposed to run games, you're supposed to run square pixels, but I didn't really have that choice. so. I just decided, well, if I'm going to do this anyway, let's go all the way out. My, 10, my GTX 1080 can run the game at a full 4K at about 70 FPS. So it had no problem running it here at 4K, squished down to 1280 by 1024 at a full 60 Hertz. And it looks so glorious on this little CRT. Now, my CRT does have a little burn in, and unfortunately, I recorded a little bit of a reflection there. If we continue doing more videos like this, I'll work on making sure whenever I get the camera set up that there isn't a whole lot of reflection going on. Uh, so, what you're seeing is a 60, 1080p 60fps capture from my camera pointed at the screen, and then at the same time I ran OBS capturing it at 1080p 60 as well. I could have theoretically done the full 4K, but I was trying to make sure I didn't run into performance issues. But this game is amazing in the first place. It's super beautiful, the, the music is great, the graphics are great, but having it squished down and downsampled to such a degree was just so phenomenal to look at. One thing I've been amazed by with this CRT is just how great downsampled stuff looks. 1080p video, 4K video, all of that looks like I'm watching Blu-ray on a TV, but like better. I don't know. The, the downsampling has always amazed me, and this is no exception. And it just looks phenomenal. So I'm going to leave a little bit of gameplay running here, but this has been Next Machina running at either 1600 by 1024 or a full 4K which frankly, once you're downsampling to that degree, there really isn't much of a difference, but really, really sharp on a CRT, and I'm just kind of flipping between gameplay and the CRT view. If you want to see more videos like this of other games running, and again, at higher refresh rates, let me know. I would love to do more coverage like this. I'm having a blast playing around with this monitor, and I want to share it with you guys. Again, it's an IBM E7M. I got free off a colleague, and I am super grateful. If any of you happens to have old CRTs in your possession, uh, and you can take a look at which ones they have. I am in search of, well actually not just interested, I am in desperate search for the Sony GDM-FW900 or just FW900 or the HP A7217A. These are very big widescreen uh, CRT monitors that can do some really amazing stuff and I am really, I am willing to, pit, to put out a pretty penny to get that over to myself. So if you happen to have some for some reason, hook a brother up. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, comment, like, subscribe, you know what to do, and again, do let me know if you want to see more, and enjoy the rest of the gameplay.
All humans saved. Disruptor detected. Maximum weapon power. All humans saved. Multiplier up. Epostbox is a Patreon-supported production. Our videos would simply not be possible without the support and generosity of our patrons, whom you can see on screen right now. If you'd like to join the inner circle and get early access to videos, among other things, go to patreon.com slash to learn more.